I'm extremely honored to, to be here on behalf of the entire Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe, our parliamentary group. We have established, I think, an excellent partnership on a number of initiatives with Liberal International that we see as not only our sister and wider organization, but as a, a constant source of inspirations. I, I think this prize is uh, particularly uh, important. There is uh, more and more a sort of stereotype about Iran in the European media, in the European institutions, in European citizenship, as a country of Ayatollahs, a country extremely opposite to a secular society, a country of darkness, a country of uh, systematic violations of human rights. We do know that this is uh, unfortunately something that to some extent is true, but we also know that there is uh, another side of Iran, which is the Iranian people fighting, the students, the women, the artists, a number of politicians, including some people within the, um, how you say, the clergy, the, cler the, the clerical uh, people who have uh, a much uh, more reformed uh, approach. Not only that, Hans said something about uh, the ancient civilization of, uh, of Iran. Uh, Iran has been engaging with Europe uh, since the very, very beginning through Persia and, uh, and, 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 and Greece. And uh, the, our most ancient literature already refers to uh, Persia and to Iran as a proper interlocutor for Europe and uh, as uh, a proper interlocutor to shape our own uh, common identities. I have a memory uh, about my uh, visit uh, in Iran. It was something which I never witnessed anywhere else. It was in Shiraz. It was the graved tomb of uh, a great uh, a poet uh, dating from the Middle Ages. And there was a family there, a family, an ordinary family, as much as I could uh, understand, who was paying a visit, paying a tribute to this tomb of somebody who had lived uh, uh, something like uh, 700 years ago, a famous poet. And the kids, two kids of this family, were asked by the parents to uh, say by heart a number of uh, short poems of this uh, 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 poet which was buried over there. And at the end of what they said, the parents give them some candies. And people who were with me explained me that that is uh, sometimes done in order to educate the youth to combine the beauty of poems and the beauty of sweetness. And I thought that, that was a lesson coming from Iran, coming from uh, contemporary <laughs> Iran, not talking about uh, uh, decades ago, which is extremely instructive also for our own uh, society. I think uh, what is also lost in uh, the recent years of uh, darkness in Iran is uh, the difficulties for the Iranian civilization to express itself and to give to the West what we would like to have from Iran, which is this constant source of inspirations, of beauty, of deeply intellectual reflections that still we can see, for instance, by a number of Iranian artists active or uh, filmmakers active uh, in, uh, in the international, in the international uh, scene. So, Hans, uh, I would like really to thank uh, very much Liberal International for these decisions to deliver the uh, Freedom Prize to uh, Mrs. Shreen uh, Ebadi today. Uh, Iran has never been forgotten by the liberal, the liberal family, uh, not at all, indeed. Uh, the commitment that we need to undertake is a, a long commitment, like the ones that you have been discussing uh, uh, this morning uh, concerning uh, Central Asia, which is all, often uh, a neglected uh, area of, uh, of, of action in terms of political uh, initiative. 
And I do regret uh, that I didn't have the possibility uh, to attend the seminar. I also expected it was uh, uh, still to be, to be uh, ended. And, uh, uh, but uh, this is indeed the perfect conclusion of this morning. And uh, Mr. Srinabadi, good luck. I think uh, a prize is an excellent thing because it is a collective recognition of what you uh, are doing and what you, what you, you have been done uh, from uh, all liberal Democrats uh, across, uh, across the world. But a prize, uh, it is something nice, but it's never enough because clearly this is uh, a, a commitment for all of us to still follow very closely the situation in Iran and to be as much as possible constructive, concrete, helpful in uh, making uh, a new Iran uh, very quickly possible in, uh, in the international area. Thank you. Thank you.